Okay, welcome to Tech Talks 102, the YouTube channel of LabRats Engineering, and we'll be covering the Quiet Universal Circuit Simulator, QUCS. First, we're going to download this QUCS. So we go to our link, which leads us to the YouTube channel of LabRats Engineering Tutorial. And that brings this up right here. You can see this. There's some neat stuff here. Uh, the home page shows you just kind of a current what we're viewing the latest videos that have been produced the video section lists all the videos that you can watch the different courses if you wanted to go from the very first one up to where we're at right now you would play this and it'll play all we have a playlist which contains three things and this is a, a small podcast it's very funny and then we have a post, which I hope you'll use and give me any updates that you might think I need. So we're going to go to this link right here, which is uh, the link to the web page. We'll click on that. That takes us to here. As you can see, there's many things here. I hope you peruse and get to know and, and read and send me comments on. That would be fantastic. But we're going to just go right here to the lab components first off. Lab components, as you can see, you can peruse this as well. It has a plethora of information that I hope you find helpful. We'll go to this green button, the QUS simulator. We'll click that. Brings us to the QUCS homepage where you get a, a list of the current releases. We're currently in release uh, 0.0.019, which was in 2017. It's uh, quite a while ago, but it's, it's very, very good simulator. So I think they're still keeping it up. Here's a, a synopsis of what QCS is, QUCS, license agreement. Has some screenshots here we'll show you. Shows you the versatility of this tool and it's comprehensive. It has uh, down to the, the uh, spice models of the components of the capacitor, inductor, resistor. You can do simulations of op amps. This is a Peltz oscillator, op amp. And then you can do the Smith chart. You can see exactly how your circuits can react to radio frequencies. As a support group, very good support group and uh, lots of examples. But we're just going to go to the download section right here. This comes up. You can do it for Linux type machines, Apple machines, and Windows machines. We go to the latest version. This will pop up. Obviously, hit the download the latest version. It's getting the server ready for us. It's ready. Come over here. You can see where it's downloading now into my machine. It's going to the download uh, directory on my desktop. All right, there it is. So now I'll go open up a file or a window to get that download. There it is, right there. So now I cut, copy, and I'll place it anywhere you want on your dark on your machine. It, it'll uh, it'll navigate to the correct areas. So I put it on my uh, E drive. I made a folder. I made a folder called QUCS Spice. The machine froze there. It created, this is where I pasted the file. Let's go in there and show options, paste. There it is again. Once I, uh, click on it and say extract all which i won't do because i've already done it this will come up it will create this uh, folder here go into there I, I got it layered in there i need to delete this and copy the contents of it up a higher la layer go into here we want this bat file this, this file here is um, what starts the qcs simulation so, I'll go to my desktop, 
I'll close that. I'll iconize this. Do a right click, new, shortcut. I'll do browse. I say browse this PC, E drive. QCS Spice. Go to here to get that batch file. There's a batch file. I double click, double left click. Creates that. I, I make sure I got my batch file right there, and there's the address for it. Click that. It's going to name it uh, the QUCS.batch. You can name it anything you want. There it is. Now I'm going to uh, we'll open it by double clicking. And there you go. Now that we've got open our QUCS template, we're going to uh, look at some of the uh, tabs, kind of get familiar with what we have and what we can do. I've, I've created uh, four projects here, which we'll go over later, but I want to go over these tabs first. Here's your libraries. These are all the uh, circuits that, and components that the QUCS has already built into it that you can use to do your simulation. And we'll take one of the most common ones, transistors, and a 2N22 22A, which everybody knows that from school, and if you don't know it, you're, you're going to get to know it. And it has all these edited properties that come with it already. So without these properties being defined, your simulation is worthless. This, this, these, and the accuracy of these is what these, I think it's the SPICE simulator, uses to determine how this component on this schematic in this circuit is going to react to stimulation. You see, that, that's the great thing about this simulator is all this is already here. And you can add your own libraries as well. We have uh, uh, components. The components are uh, lumped, sources, probes, transmission lines, nonlinear components, Verilog. Verilog is a programming language for uh, FPGAs. Uh, digital component, file components, simulations, DC, AC, RF, and then different diagrams to display your data. And all this will be going over as well. We'll just look at one, each one of these one at a time. Here you can see you have your resistors, your capacitors. And this here, this resistor, will have some of its properties already but you can change this as well and like every you know resistor the lead has a capacitance and an inductance to it as well so um that'll be for later on when we do things like smith charts and do circuit design bypass low pass high pass band pass circuits which we'll get into in later labs And you have to close it to go on. But uh, so that's, that's our lump components. As you can see, you have attenuators, relays, probes. Here's our sources, current source, rectangular, uh, DC source. So DC, DC current, AC, AC current. The different probes, current probes, and voltage probes. So you got to make sure they're connected. And this, the little red dot on each one, like this right here, these have to be connected and, or your circuit won't work. And you'll know that it's not connected because the circuit does not work. We have transmission lines. This is good for board layout. If you're laying out a board and you need to meet certain specific frequency uh, standards, you, you could use, you do this for your simulation cable. If you got a very, very long RF cable and you want to test it out to see if you're going to attenuate or delay your signal too much, you can do this here. 
nonlinear components. Verilog devices. Now this is, we probably won't get into Verilog. It's uh, VHDL as well. Digital components, we'll get into that. Um, file components, Spice and Atlas. Simulation, so you can do DC simulation, transient simulation, AC, S parameters, and on and on. This S parameters is going to be good when we, we get into Laplace transforms and stuff. And then your diagrams, your Smith chart. We'll learn, we'll be studying Smith charts, polar charts, tabular. Okay, and truth tables and timing diagrams. That covers the components. The content, when you make a file, like in my projects, when you create a file, these come within that file, like right here. All that came up. I don't have a schematic in here right now, so that, that didn't open that. But if I go here, this one does have a schematic. You can see how I have three schematics in this project. And then there's all the projects I have. This is a normal Microsoft Windows uh, toolbar. This does the simulation, ground functions. This is your wiring apparatus, which we'll go over. We'll, we'll build the circuits that we're going to be experimenting with. And so, actually, that's about it. You can uh, edit the page. You, you can put a title block on this by uh, selecting a frame. I use A5 landscaping and drawn by, you can title it, uh, intro to QCS by Lab Rats Engineering LLC. Date 10-10-2024. Version one. There you go. So that's the beginning of it. There's a good introduction to QCS, and we're going to now move on to loading the MathCat.